Good morning, everyone. It's Marianne from the New York City Organization of Public Service Retirees. I think it's important at this point to start calling out some of the union presidents that voted to strip retirees of their uh, health care and force them into managed Medicare Advantage plans, thinking that it's equivalent to senior care and traditional Medicare. Because we've been working almost two years now in trying to educate everyone, and the, the, the silence has been deafening. So the first request I have today is Laura Morand from Local 2627 of DC 37. I met Laura when I was at SOMOS in San Juan in November, and she and I had some very extensive conversations. I gave her plenty of documentation on how they're diff- the two plans are materially different. I advised her that hospitals and doctors do not have to take Medicare Advantage plans. I also advised her that there's a series of prior authorizations <clears throat> that we don't currently have under traditional Medicare. And when you are ill or older, this is not a process that you want to go through. Our plans don't work like yours. Our lives materially start to change as we get older. We can no longer keep up with doing the, the paperwork that's required. It just becomes too prohibitive. And to burden a retiree with having to do that is insane. A retiree's health plan costs under $200 a month. An active worker's health plan costs over $1,000 a month. What your union president did, what Laura did with the other presidents that voted to support this vote, was she negotiated away your health care and a current retiree's health care. And she doesn't understand how this was harming all of you. So let's get into that really quickly. Unfortunately, because they have refused to be educated and decided to remain ignorant as to how these plans are different, you are going to very quickly learn if our litigation isn't successful, what this will look like. They said that they negotiated away uh, almost 75 or 80 percent of the prior authorizations that were in the plan for the first two years. That then puts us all in jeopardy in year three. They're not going to review the plan until year two. And with most of the prior authorizations that they have rescinded, probably the main argument you're going to have is that doctors are not accepting this plan or hospitals won't accept it either. That said, <clears throat> Ms. Moran doesn't understand how this plan is different. She doesn't understand the jeopardy that she's put other people in. And all of her uh, members in 2627 should understand that she negotiated away your health care with the blessing of all the others. And this was encouraged directly by Henry Garrido, which is why we keep telling all of you that you, you are right now going into contract ratification. You do not know what number five is on your promotional flyer for your contract as how your health care remains premium free according to the MLC agreement. Do you? What is number five? And have you seen the contract or did you just look at the promotional flyer? You look at the summary not the contract. Where's the contract? Why are you ratifying an agreement that you haven't seen the agreement? You've seen a summary. And you don't even know what number five is, what MLC agreement is that you are tying into your contract. Do you know that number five would actually tell you if it was the 2018 agreement that the unions agreed to sell off retirees' health care? That's your benefit. So when they're telling you there's no give back, they lied. Why would you do that? Please call Ms. Morand and ask her why. Ask her how come people who now live in Long Island and uh, go to Stony Brook and deal with disabilities or have specialized treatment at Stony Brook will not be covered by Aetna and Medicare Advantage. Maybe you should also ask her about the hospitals in California that don't accept Medicare Advantage. More is coming, but... I would ask, start asking Ms. Morand why after being educated by the retirees organization as to actually how traditional Medicare with a supplement, which costs the city under $200 a month, is, is so much worse than this managed Medicare Advantage plan. It was like she basically put us into an HMO plan. Why don't you ask her that? Ask her for the contract and also ask her, what is number five's MLC agreement in the contract summary? And if you don't get it, do not ratify this contract because you are giving up your health care. Have a great day.